The Cream Team Fantasy Football League is going to be fun this year. It is. My division, especially, if you guys, like I, like I said earlier, if you haven't watched that video, I really recommend going and watching the Cream Team Draft Lottery video because it was so fun. But last year, the Cream Team Fantasy Football League, that uh, that went really sour really quickly. It did. And a few trades. I'm really excited for our league this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know you're excited having the first overall pick. You're going to get JT. I'm excited with my pick, having pick number four. If I get Eckler or CMC, we were talking before, I don't want Cooper Cup to fall down to me because I want a running back first. But I feel I feel good. I feel good going into, into this year with this league. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I don't blame you. I mean, besides having the number four pick, which I really like that pick. So when we were going through the lottery, I'm like, I really want picks kind of like six through uh, eight. Like those are the picks yeah. I want because I wanted somewhere in the middle of the round where I don't have to have 20 picks in between. But as soon as we got into the top five, I'm like, well, there's a clear cut. Might as well go for broke. I I want the number one overall pick. Um, I mean, before is not bad. You get one of the top four players. And I think we talked about this a little bit earlier. There's a pretty decent drop off after the, after the top four. So you kind of got, got in there and then just your division. I mean, Nia, he, he's, He's a casual. He admits he's a casual, so it's not a diss. And he still almost made the playoffs last he year. He did. He 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 drafted really well for Somehow. like not knowing anything. Oh my gosh, he dumb locked him with his way. Like Jalen Hurts, he, he drafted not what was it Najee? Najee. He drafted. Uh, uh, he also had Justin Jefferson. Justin Je- no, no, he had Jamar Chase. Yeah, Jamar Chase. Yes, just and then he dumb locked him. his way into it. And then he traded away like half his team. Yeah, and that's that's kind of what made the whole league go sideways. He missed, he missed out on the playoffs by losing to Adam the second last week of the with, year. With he had two wins the whole year. Yeah, that that was Adam's second win. Yeah, no, no, he had three. He he won the last three games. I'm pretty sure uh, that hilarious. was the second game Adam had won all year long. And then we did get rid of Rayon, so thank God we're actually yeah. someone active now. Like that's my dog and all, but bro didn't even touch his lineup hardly at all ever. Uh, and then uh, you have Marcelo in your division. He's a good guy. He actually knows a lot more than we give him credit for. Yeah. But he questions himself yeah. so much. So it's be like that. That's what causes him to make it his mistakes. Yeah. I mean, everybody has their flaws. Um, and then like Adam giving me Devonte Adams last year for a bag of chips. Yes, that was one of them. <laughs> uh, Adam. I mean, he th- he thought the Raiders were going to win the Super Bowl. So, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, having him on the podcast and him telling me they're the best team in the league, I wanted to c- go through the computer and strangle him. <laughs> exactly, like that, that's my point. So everybody has their flaws. I mean, I I think I I know my shit a lot more than I probably do. Yeah. So, uh, so, but you know, I'm there, and then I think Tyrell has a similar issue, except he has a way bigger head and way bigger ego. Yeah, and, and I'm going to get to battle off against that multiple times now. Multiple times. And so how the divisions work this year is that – so we play three teams twice. That's why we have the three divisions. So now if you beat your division, you have a more of a chance to get into the playoffs. So now it's a, uh, it's the top six teams. It's the three – so it's a 12-team league, three division winners, and then the three best of the rest. Yeah, three best of the rest. For whatever reason, I kept thinking that we still only had four. But, yeah, so it's the three best of the rest. And it's going to be a lot harder to to win that now, to, yeah. to get into that wild card per se. It's Well, I mean, we had the same amount of people last year, and we only had four spots. And there was, like, a group of you guys right outside of playoffs, you – Andrew, who, would, who would, Andrew, who eventually did make it, Nehemiah. Somebody who I'm surprised doesn't do as well in fantasy football is Jay. I think it's because he literally has so many other leagues. He well, he never trades. That's another thing is that he, he never tried. Tra- once. He, he tried. He tried once uh, with me, and uh, or no, he tried with Marcelo, and then Marcelo went uh, behind his back and asked everybody to veto the trade. That is snake. That, snake-like that was, behavior. That is snake-like behavior. And since then, Jay just does not trade with anyone. He actually got so pissed off that he traded me CMC for uh, – who was it? It was uh, Tim Patrick. That was two – wait, no, that was two years ago. He got, that, was that, most, was, that was two years that ago. That was something else he got pissed about. 
but so, two two years ago it was kind of a, a shit show too but um yeah but, hopefully this year we can get through without wanting <laughs> to kill each other but we we have an established group chat now we have people that should be active now yeah because that that was the main thing and it was that uh john and Brandon would literally only trade with each yeah, other. Yeah, it got really uh, annoying. Chris wasn't that active. Rayon never was active. Yeah, yeah. And this year, this year should be fun. I'm, yeah. I'm really like I said before. I am really happy with the fourth overall pick. I, Andrew, I want Andrew just to tell me who's he taking at three because <laughs> like I can't influence his pick, right? So that would make my life so much easier. Hey, you're taking JT. Let's say, let's just say Nate takes Cooper Cup. Let's just say. Because I know you like to say, like, he's going to do something weird. But let's just say he takes Cooper Cup, right? Andrew obviously has the option of CMC, Eckler, or Derrick Henry, right? Mm -hmm. I can't influence that. Like, me, what I want means literally nothing. But he still won't tell me. Like, bro, just tell me who you're taking at three. It makes my life (laughs) so much easier. But, you know, I kind of see because even though you can't influence – he he may see it as you might try to influence kind of like no nah, he's smarter than that like i'm not gonna he, i've tried i know to, you wouldn't do that like last year i had the second overall pick in my in my public's league and i tried talking uh my friend into taking somebody else besides cmc now obviously in hindsight i'm glad he took cmc i didn't get stuck with him even though i missed the playoffs anyways andrew i couldn't do that too like Andrew's yeah. smart enough that if I say, "Oh, you should take Tua with the second overall pick," like obviously, like he's not gonna do that. He 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 knows his stuff. He's smart enough. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to influence him one way or another, even if I tried on like subliminally or not. So yeah. just tell me who you're taking, man. <laughs> like I don't want. I don't need to know your second round, third round, fourth. Like, I, I get holding your cards close to your chest because I'm doing trying to do the same thing. Like I yeah. get it. We're all in this game together. But the third pick, I, I can't do anything about that. Make yeah. my life easier. I'm over here doing mock drafts. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know who I'm going to end up with. Because if I take Eckler, then I'm like, okay, I can't take Mike Williams. I can't take Keenan. Like, if I take CMC, yeah, I can't take really Keenan you're really weird about that. Like, I understand not wanting your lineup to um, have the whole bye week issue where, like, you have, oh, your three of your starters are out in one week. I understand that. But, like, you having two out in the same time, but you're, like, really weird about that because you don't, you don't want to rely heavily on one offense is yes. your thing. Like you don't want to have an RB one like Eckler and then a wide receiver two like Mike Williams on your team. Yeah, because they are directly taking points away from each other. So if you, if you hand the ball off to Eckler, Mike Williams is guaranteed not getting any points in that play. Or you pass the ball, Mike Williams, Eckler is guaranteed getting zero points in that play. I understand, like oh, like you could say, oh, it's a really good offense, and you're pretty much guaranteed points in some nature, but you are just by simple mathematics, limiting yourself to the full, full potential points you can get. I'd rather take Eckler and in that same points range, take like, or same draft range, take like, I don't know, like Brandon Cooks or somebody like that who's on a different team who they're not directly taking uh, yeah, points yeah. away from each other. I mean, I, I understand that, but you can also look at it as, oh, it's the end of the week in prime time and you have Eckler and Williams and you're like, give it to either of them and I'm good, either of them and I'm good. And it's just, it doesn't. And then with, it's like, well, what if at the end of the game, they can't run the ball or at the end of the game, all they're doing is running the ball. Then either way, you're only, only one person per play is getting points. I got that. So I'd rather Andrew, please. (laughs) All this headache can be eliminated. I mean, because I, if I take CMC, like DJ Moore, which I don't really like, want DJ Moore anyways, so that's yeah. that's still a thing. Uh, somehow, maybe if I convince myself into Derrick Henry, I'm not taking Robert Woods. Well, I probably wouldn't take anybody else on Tennessee anyways, but the point still stands. Like, I just want to know, bro, who are you taking at three, okay? This idiot is taking JT. Argument's sake, I, I'm just going to imagine Cooper Cup's not available when I pick, whether um, Nate takes somebody else. And then Andrew takes Cooper Cup. I assume I'm not getting Cooper Cup, yeah. which I know is weird to say I don't want him, but it is just because I don't want to wait that long for my RB1. I don't want to get stuck yeah. with, like, James Conner as my RB1. Yeah, and I mean, I understand that, yeah. Because, I mean, the way I'm looking at it, after I pick JT number one overall, my wide receiver one is going to be really a wide receiver two. I mean, you could still end up with, like, Keenan Allen. Which, I mean, I have in some in some mock drafts. Which is – that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. You finish as like the 
ninth best wide receiver in fantasy football, I believe. Which last is technically year. a wide receiver one. That is, and then, that is and then I, fine. And then I can get a, a strong wide receiver two, obviously, if I choose to go back to back. But it really depends on who's on the board still. So I, I'm obviously going to go wide receiver with my second or third pick, but it's do I go double wide receiver? Do I go wide receiver running back? Do I go wide receiver tight end? It all depends on what everybody else is going to do. It, it really depends on what everybody else is going to do. Cause like it I, really depends on what the board looks like. And that's my thing is like, I've gone in like, okay, I'm going to draft two wide receivers. And then after I draft both wide receivers, I'm like, Oh damn, that running back still on the board. Yeah. And I'm like, I could have had him and I could have had two RB ones. It's all fun games when you're drafting mock drafts, nothing actually matters, but then mm-hmm. when you actually come down, it's that time. Who's Adam going to take? Who's Tyrell going to take? Who's Jay going to take? I mean, I could kind Who's of. Who's Nate going to take? That's, that's, that is a mystery. That, cause I haven't really talked to him about it, but the way I know him and the way we talk about NFL players, when we talk about actually just players in general, we don't really talk about players that are already in superstardom we talk about their the low-key players that are like yo this guy can pop off or this guy will pop off but with the number two pick you know it wouldn't surprise me so what is he gonna take like Najee Harris for the second no 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 I mean but he's 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 ranked as player number six off the board that would qualify I mean I kind of cross my fingers he does this (laughs) uh obviously I don't think that's a good idea based off the videos I've made about him and his running backs as a whole. But when you have the number two pick, you're not taking the weird low-key guy. You're taking a banger, Cooper Cup. But I think if you're talking about the the, the top four, like the top four I think are pretty clear. It's JT, Eckler, Cup, uh, and uh, Henry. CMC. Or CMC. Oh, over Henry. Yeah, you know what? I I, I – I love Henry, but I, I'm not sure how that injury really affected him because he did not look good in that playoff game. Now, I'm not sure if it's their offensive line just being absolute garbage, uh, the team being absolute garbage. Probably a little bit of both. Quarterback um, being garbage. I wasn't going to say that, but that was, I was. applied in the team. Um, but he, he just did not look good. Uh, whereas CMC, whenever he comes back from yeah. his many injuries, he always yeah. looks sharp. Um but I think out of those four, the low key player would be Eckler. Yeah. Well, so, and, and that's why I think he's taking to an NFL goal. casual. It is to us like no Eckler. I'd be comfortable taking him with four. I'd be comfortable taking him at three. Two. I, I don't think. I think it has to go JT Cup. I think it has to go that because I mean Cooper Cup is the best player, but he's not a running back. Maybe I'll take Cup. Will you? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's not nah, a running you know, back. I'm taking Saquon, though. First overall? So, Tyrell, <laughs> uh, with your fifth pick, Saquon is a decent pick. Bro, Saquon's looking sharp. You saw that one-handed catch? It looked like Odell. Fifth overall pick. Fifth overall pick, bro. You got this. Last year, bro, I knew, I knew he was going to do it last year. He had, like, a good six-pick last year. I yeah. knew he was going to be Saquon. Because everybody, everybody's like, mm, I don't want it. Like, I think Saquon's just like, – because for some reason, he was, like, projected third I'm overall not pick. biased. He's like, I don't, I don't want it. I don't like wash my hands. I'm good. And Tyrell's like, give me. Bro, and Daniel Jones, he's gonna pop off this year if they're healthy. Second, second round pick? Bro, that's easily Galladay. easily third. Bro, Galladay taking the late. Take second. Evan Ingram, even though he's not on the team anymore. Bro, he he has bricks for hands, but you know he can catch touchdowns. Yeah, maybe he will for ten or Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Probably not. It, well, I mean, obviously, back obviously Trevor Lawrence is the better quarterback of the bunch. So I think the Daniel Jones, are you sure? Yes. Okay. 